Peter Iluelu, the Deputy CDF. I recognize the NRM SEC members and other leaders of NRM in your different capacities. Your Highness Morimor, Papa Iteso, The representative of the road of Alur and all the delegations. <laughs> Deputy Director General of ISO and all directors of ISO and other security agencies. The RCCs, RDCs, and DSOs, RISOs in your different capacities. And LC5 chairman present. I see here a very high powered delegation from Alur, Lord Bishop. I recognize them as a delegation. I also see a delegation from Lango. I recognize you as a delegation. God is good and all the time. I would also like to recognize the visionary women. Lord Bishop, let me also congratulate the Colonel Charles Oluka and his dear wife, Kelly Tengas Nui, and Wale Nau Mishoit, Nau Nere Wene Peta, Okelesia. Akonye Kosikere, Yalam Kitenges Nui, Babak Sikitakan. Todi Kitosesi iso Kedi Kristayano Kere, Ero Tulo Ebe Etai Tuk. Noi Noi Kristayano Munu, Luibo Ete, Kwape Kilo Kike Na Beru, Oma Mewe Ndose Peta. Erae Na Wanyi Metana Jokan, Etu Ritenges Nui. Kede Ebalua, Loyo Wadika Ekite Si, Kere, the President Loy Uganda, General Yuri Kabuta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Abe Titi Ngesile Ija Ine, Banangesbe Kano Luka Erae Oko Oke. Akoto Ngesu Da Jau Tune Eke Da Ake Kwan Ngese Lope. Kunya kungeso teme boyanga rojo eka baloa ushoma ki bishops kede eklesia kere ngesi ino bebore ina jare ngone chibu re ni yare iti aje ngona ne na raje ngo are ngono na cheke na chike akan oluka ona cheka ngon lo lewen de peta so ara ide ma mi jukute ngo kede baloa tinga ja ini Wapi na chike alolo lo awe ne peta edope otomo sapa otomo telepai otomo jaka alwo teso alwe jena si iponesho catch lo ajoka yalama no ikano luka being very humble we know you as a very humble son of teso but very very effective in whichever assignments you are given to handle yalama so noi. Boga soa nukon, do yalam kitu na mchala tangin, na ara ingesi jaya kiti jo, agubung, kedai choreta noe ya, yalam aso noe harit. Lord Bishop, e uriane balu alu, e roko berenga shome balu alu, aku do berenga yalam ikini, ito malu ikonto si unebi, who were there with His Excellency the President last week in all those areas of Alur, Jonam, Aringa, Maracha, Kakwa. And when they were there, they said, when you meet people from Alur or from Pakwach, those ones are called the Jonam, you see. Nedi. Nedi. Ori, my baby. 
foi? Much Fred, the former Minister of uh, Finance, when I was a Minister of Education that time, he used to make me laugh with small stories from especially Jonam. He would say for them in Jonam there, they can even fly individually. <laughs> <laughs> even this morning he told me that they came by air. <laughs> he just told me, Lord Bishop, you, we are here, we came by air individually. So it's a very small job, which is always very, very, is a reminder to us with the, the people of, of Nebi. But you are very hardworking people. And when we were there recently uh, uh, with His Excellency the President, uh, the, you shared very many messages with him. And among messages were about the fight against poverty. So Lord Bishop, with your permission, I would request that team from Debi to stay in Teso here for some few days to share that fresh message from His Excellency the President. Are poa kiro mulo noi elipte ke bishop osala kisiberi tunga luo Debi bera parasha disine Teso. Ai moro ke di tunga luo Teso akiro ni kamara ke dai tiji chano rerea no no osabita je echorak tikesi e President o esnai. Ara ene bede presenta kuna ene teso, kwenye nubundo kwa na au mishu yiku kitosi ane jastu nga luo teso, isa la kisisa imoro kita kesi au mishu omono. No haipita kukuroi, haipita itu, akure mwogolo enya metinduwe, haipita garia, haipiti ipege mulu wawera si isiri ya mwono. Osoti kwa nyakuru, nyamata luwe gwela na reo, Uja sinya matalu ya nyamiu. Akira tonde polo ngini. Arae sona kuta parashia arae. Moro kedi tungaluani. Jene teke sisek. Konye aisi niko ekin. Aisi niko ekin. Aja ibu wakira tona kwa di tungalu West Nile. Iso mau tuangi na. Eda wei president ay joro kesi. Vakas kubitu nga mulu uwe koto so nebi. I koto so ijo president. Mupe ngono saltebelejo nependen. O saltebelejo nependen. Mami muro ina chora ina tumalo ane akira kumenda. Dedere kune president ni ubaka skolo ane no salte brejo ne pene no salte brejo ne pene. Twenty twenty six ano salte president ne pene. Lord Bishop, let me now take this opportunity to read this message to you and to the people of Saint Patrick Madera who are now in the church. I would like to thank Colonel Charles Oluka and his wife, Mrs. Harriet Akisa Oluka, for inviting me to attend their wedding ceremony. I have not been able to join you in person due to earlier scheduled engagements. I have, however, asked Her Excellency Jessica Alupo, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, to represent me at the function and deliver my congratulatory message to you. I extend warm congratulations to Colonel Charles Oluka and Mrs. Harriet Akisa Oluka upon their bold decision to enter into holy matrimony. I wish you a happy and fruitful marriage. The marriage institution serves two unique functions in society. First of all, marriage creates permanent bonds among people from different families, clans, and tribes. It creates unity by cementing the relationship between the relatives of the groom and those of the bride. Marriage is like a bridge it connects people from different backgrounds, and therefore, the social bonds are strengthened by marriage ties. <clears throat> Secondly, marriage is important for the purpose of procreation and nurturance of life. Marriage is a foundation of the home, where children are nurtured to become responsible and productive members of society. Strong marriages 
produce strong and prosperous families. Therefore, the union of a man and a woman is important because it creates the foundation of which society is built. Secondly, society cannot perpetuate itself without strong and stable families. The social norms, values, and customs of a society are learned from a home. The children learn good behavior and, and their responsibility to society from homes. It is on account of the above factors that we should guard the marriage and family institutions from negative and foreign practices whose primary objective is to destroy our societies. Any practice that undermines the survival of the family institution must be resisted and defeated. I therefore urge the young people to embrace marriage and build strong and stable families to guarantee the prosperity and survival of society. Finally, I wish to encourage the groom and the bride to anchor your marriage on the love and good communication. Above all, you must depend on God, who is the author of your marriage. God's will is that you, you prosper as a couple and remain united and strong at all times. Once again, I congratulate both of you and wish you a blessed marriage. I thank you. Lord Bishop, that is a message from His Excellency the President to you and the groom and the bride and members of the congregation. And His Excellency the President has sent me with a gift in an envelope of 10 million shillings to the, the Papole. At an appropriate time, I will silently deliver mine to the family of Colonel Charles Oluka. For today, you accept to receive the message of His Excellency the President. And I would like to get the authority of the Lord Bishop to hand over this gift to you. Thank you very much.